update. Welcome, folks. This is Jacob Shoup filling in for Tom O'Brien. This is the 4 p.m. stock market update. In case you missed the show, we had Steve Rhodes on. Steve, of course, is the author of Mastering Probability. He has his show, The Trader's Edge, at 11 a.m. Eastern Time every day that the market is open on TFNN. Make sure to check that out and make sure to check out the archive afterwards as well on our channel, Tiger Financial News Network on YouTube. Take a look at the E-mini. Look at that, man. I was just saying at the end of the show. Uh, look at the E-mini right now. That last leg on some massive volume uh, to the upside, of course, still closing, you know, a little bit lower than we were uh, at the beginning of the day. But, uh, hey, how about that? Wow, some nice volume to the upside here. Uh, take a look at the Russell closing off about 0.85%. NEQs up about 0.21%. Same with the composite back in line with each other. And then the Dow Futures and the Dow Jones Industrial itself off about 0.36%. Gold contract, gold had a decent uh, day, trading at 1.53%, cracking that 2,500 level. Uh, silver uh, closing up about 1.57% right now, and then copper up two. There you go. In the $4 contract area, crude oil, of course, soaring there. Again, Steve spoke about that a little bit as well. Tesla finishing off 1.24, and then Steel Dynamics off about 2 0.9%. That dollar staying very cool at 103.13. Not making any sudden movements. So we'll see what happens tomorrow uh, with CPI, essentially, right? And then Disney not doing a whole lot either. Now, some interesting stuff with SMCI. Probably some of this move up as well. Of course, you had a big movement up after some gapping down. Uh, it's really going to be their liquid cooling, essentially, right? And NVIDIA's, uh, the GB200. Server racks, of course, that's going to contain these new Blackwell chips. Um, you're going to have liquid cooling. So SMCI, commonly known as Supermicro, is going to use liquid cooling in about 30% of its racks that it ships next year. In June and July, the company delivered more than 1,000 liquid-cooled AI racks. Now, usually, uh, server racks are cooled using air, and there's a whole science behind that, which is very neat. Um, but it seems like liquid, uh, no doubt, is going to be the future. These cost about $80,000 for these high-end GB200 uh, racks. It's nothing to scoff at. Interesting, folks. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you all have a great rest of your day. We'll be back tomorrow morning at 9 a.m. Eastern Time with Tommy O'Brien in the morning market kickoff. We'll see you there.